everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia and today I thought just going back to a few comments of things you really struggle with your sewing. Um, I just thought I'd do a really quick video on how to wind your bobbin. Like the old classic song, wind your bobbin up. Um, a lot of people struggle with this and it's mainly because you're not using the tensioner on the top of your machine correctly. So I know all machines are different, but hopefully if I show you a few hints and tips, you'll never have a problem winding your bobbin ever again. Okay, so on the top of all machines, you will have, there probably is a symbol of the way that you should wind your bobbin up. Now on the back, you'll have your spool thread. It might be a horizontal um, spool or you might have it vertical. That doesn't matter. Now, if you unthread your machine, I find a lot of people pop it round this part here, which is the first tensioner that you would put it under when you're threading up the spool but in front of it should be a little metal round screw. Now this is just the tensioner for the bobbin. So you don't actually use this for when you're threading up the spool, but a lot of people do. Um, but this is just for the bobbin. So if you then put your thread directly from the spool between that tensioner, if you pull on the other end, you'll feel that it's quite tight when it goes through. So it's going directly from the spool thread here around the bobbin tensioner and that's it there shouldn't be anything else that you need to do so on your bobbin there is a little hole that you can poke the thread up through and then what i normally do is hold on to that while i wind it a few times now it depends on the model of your machine but most machines have the thread going clockwise around it so if i pop this on my bobbin holder here the thread is going round the back of the bobbin and then it's winding clockwise so it's going to turn clockwise as it goes round now on our genomi computerized models all we need to do is switch ours on and flick it to the side and there should also be a plastic or a metal sort of um, piece that sticks out of your machine that you push the bobbin into and this is really really important and especially if you have an automatic stopping mechanism on your machine um, it once it vibrates against that it will tell the machine that your bobbin is full now on a manual machine you might not have this you've just got to keep an eye on when it's full or not but you also might have to pull out a mechanism here now on ours we don't need to do that but normally the whole thing either pulls out away from you or there'll be another part in the center of your hand crank wheel that you pull out you know which, whichever one suits your model of machine and then if i just slowly i'll turn the speed down if i slowly start winding this bobbin it should slowly start filling up and you should see that your thread moves up and down the bobbin as it fills up and that's when you know that you've got correct tension um, if it just sort of stays in one place there's something wrong and you haven't put it through the right tensioner or it's spinning the wrong way um, but that's really really important to check so your thread should be going up and down and that's what evenly fills up the bobbin so you have correct tension and then you shouldn't have any problems with your sewing so there you have it, how to perfectly wind a bobbin with good thread tension. If you found this video useful, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and I will try and get back to you ASAP. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy handmade.